All right, welcome again. Welcome again to MagFat. This is going to be my run of Twinkle Star Sprites. It's a shmup released in 1996 for the Neo Geo. Also uh, released on a number of home platforms, including Arcade Archives. I'm going to just go straight to the point. This is my favorite shmup of all time, one of my all-time favorite arcade games, and one that uh, I'm also currently defending a championship here at MagFest. So let's just be, let's get started right away. So you can see in the bottom, I'm playing on level eight, the hardest difficulty. You may have heard that this is one of the hardest games in Neo Geo, and I'm going to be happy to show you why. We'll play the story mode, and you can just uh, read the classic SNK English translations. I'm not going to try to interrupt them. I normally main Yan Yan myself, but uh, I think for the sake of actually uh, for this marathon, I think it'll be best to give someone the dialogue. I can't deny that to them. So this is a competitive shmup. We defeat these waves of enemies and destroying enough of them in a chain will cause fireballs to be launched from your side of the screen to the other. Touching these fireballs is the only way to do actual damage and win the match. You, release, you, you can send them back by shooting them directly or catching them in side chain reactions. And the first stage is already finished, but first stage is always easy. We saw there was a boss attack. We sent three reversed, uh, reversed attacks in a single chain reaction to get it. I'll do my best to explain the mechanics of this game, but uh, I won't be able to do a lot of talking, especially after stage three. I'd like to. Get once you see in the hardest difficulty, which I have done before on Marathon, but never in front of a live crowd. I could have also uh, played on the standard difficulty and then make level 8 a donation incentive of some kind, but it wouldn't be very tactful of me to not have to play to the utmost for a charity event, would it? So I'm making it as hard as I can immediately. For whatever reason, sometimes the computer just likes to waste its bombs like that. It's completely random and any opponent can do it, and I have no idea what causes it. There's my boss. It's not the best boss, but uh, especially against an omnipotent computer that sees it as just another obstacle it can match at 30 hertz that no human can do. You don't need to watch my screen too much. Instead, just look at the computer and look how, just look how little it cares about your feelings. You have to uh, clear all these patterns the best you can in a single chain. That gets you a perfect bonus, which will give you more meter if you have to charge yourself. At level 2, you can get 3 extra attacks, which are indestructible, or a boss at maximum strength. I think we're better off only using extra attacks, just because they can't be destroyed. Oh yeah, it is all, isn't it? No sword, though. But he is high tier in competition. As far as I can tell, I think difficulty uh, only determines how fast it gets to maximum rank. And what we had to, I think, stage four. Where are you going to put the orb? Over there. I didn't get the boss, that's okay. The hitbox on those on the jets from Arthur's extra attack is larger than it looks. I need to be careful of that. I didn't get any extras on that. Using a bomb there, because I didn't like the position of that extra attack. It is possible for enough of those to become unblockable if they all uh, make a line that you can dodge. By the way, one of the reasons that he's popular in competition, besides the fact that he has one of the fastest movement speeds, at least of all the legal characters. There we go. This is going scarily well. I haven't lost any lives yet. I also used to mean uh, Mackie and Pentel, but they have a very slow charge shot and I just couldn't get the hang of it. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I'm 
gonna have less to say as I go on. Feel free to read any donations if I haven't said anything in a while. Oh, okay. well, we currently don't have any donations, but uh, just as a reminder, we do also have a stretch goal ongoing for a run I later didn't today. See that, that is for Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Tuxedo Mode. So if you wanted to donate and contribute to that, you're more than welcome to. No, oh, so much for the no miss. There are two extra lives you can get at 500,000 and 1 million, and that's it. I should get the 500,000 before too long. There's also a very real possibility I'm not going to succeed in this challenge. If I run past my estimate, I'm going to just save this for another year. If you get hit by an enemy, you can't die if you get touched by an enemy like this. You go reduced to a minimum of one half heart. But you are slowed down for about five seconds and your shot is smaller. You also want to avoid hitting the regular attacks because you don't want them to become reversal attacks that they can reflect and become extra attacks, extra stuff you have to dodge, but sometimes you just have no choice. But you got a boss there. I think this is where the game really becomes what it is when it slows down like this. And you can barely see what's happening for half of this screen because of sprite limits. And I got special points. So uh, chain above 32. And I got the first extend. Really unfortunate I lost a life though. It's gonna bother me if I don't. We're now at officially at maximum difficulty. As far as I know anyway. And Dark Ron here is her sole purpose is to be a mirror match for the story mode. Almost literally, the main difference is that, uh, well, there's actually two differences. The first is that her bomb is inverted colors, and the other is that she has angry eyebrows drawn in a portrait on the top right. That's it. Be careful when you pop that bubble. Even the professionals messed it up sometimes. Oh, that was my fault. Also my fault, that just happens sometimes. That was very avoidable. A few things crushing is dying with more than one bomb in reserve. Why didn't that go? I didn't want that, but what they do? Computer wasted the bomb, that's good. I couldn't capitalize on that. That's bad coin RNG. If the coin should spawn in a, a coin that uh, will pop every bubble if it's collected on the star side. Sometimes you just don't get to use it though. There's the boss. Send some extras for good measure. Look how quickly it takes care of that boss though. See, it's gone before you know it. And that's one of the worst patterns in the game. Got hit. I was thinking about the worst pattern in the game. If you're going to launch your boss, you have to give it some kind of a cover fire, usually just some extra attacks. If you're lucky, the computer will get distracted trying to shoot it down even though it should know that it can't do that. I'm dying at stage 5 with 3 bombs, that's irresponsible. We uh, have a donation, if I have a moment. A, we have a $100 donation from Nicole saying ADK Mega Power. I know, yeah, I know Nicole, she's a big fan of ADK in general. Does that mean I'm going to have to learn ninja combat at some point? Oh yeah, ADK's games, especially their first four or five years on the Neo Geo, one of the most common themes is at least one ninja. They loved ninjas until about 1995. 
This is probably the most atypical ADK game in that. Not just because it's their last one and last arcade game overall, but uh, there are no ninjas in this game at all. That's so strange if you've been following their history. I tried the bomb there, it didn't go. Jump. I barely escaped that. I'm just throwing a bomb because I didn't see I didn't see what was happening. Uh, uh, I didn't know what I was doing there. Okay, I continued. How much time do I have left? Nine, eight, Heck with it, I'll continue. How much? Uh, timer says 10 minutes, 41 seconds. Okay, well, it's not 1cc, but I'll see if I can clear it anyway. So just gotta keep doing this until I run out of time. So I'm, not, so I'm not exaggerating when I say this is one of the hardest Neo Geo games. You saw what the computer's doing? Uh -huh. I didn't get that reversal. I was in a bad spot there, I had the bomb to get over there. One of the disadvantages that only Ron has is that when she uses the bomb, she stays in place. She does a loop-de-loop -loop like it's 1942. No other character does that. Which, thankfully, I'm going to be able to switch once I get past this stage. To one I actually know how to use. If I know better, maybe I should just play character mode and use my main. Sitting on Max Vader too. Hope that's enough. Got it. Managed to capitalize just in time. Now I'm gonna get a real character. Mephi is here. Well, actually, count your continues. If you get here without continuing before this point, he will say you must be a master. If you get this far without a shingle, will continue. I am not a master, not this morning. And she transforms for the rest of the game. This is my secondary character. I'm using sprites now. With a boss that might actually get stuff done. I think she moves faster too. You can select sprites as, uh, by herself, and she is tournament legal. Playing character mode, her ending is different in everything. Did you see what just happened there? I didn't, but I know. I have an idea of what happened over there. You gotta get perfect, and you need to build my meter up. The main reason Mebius is hard is because of his extra attacks. They're so erratic. I have a tendency to box you in. I had the bomb there. You wasted a bomb. I forgot to mention, I apologize. His boss, this bomb causes a lot of flashing. I think did that. Now neither of us have bomb. Oh, that's lucky. I uh, couldn't do anything to take advantage of that, though. Oh, by the way, it said KO chance, but uh, don't listen to that at this point. It's a false sense of security. That's a fine place to put the orb. I didn't even mention what a fever is. Pop the orb in a chain, but can hit it directly, and your chaining rate doubles, enemies, enemy speed increases, and the Neo Geo grinds to a halt. That's so much stuff on screen. That's it, I've never managed to make the game crash. Okay, we're in high fever now, is what I call it, when so much stuff is exploding at the top of the screen before they can even appear. That's when the game is at its best. I won. Am I actually going to get 2cc after an irresponsible death on stage 5? Here's the cheapest boss in all of the Neo Geo, in my opinion. 
even if there is a storyline reason for why she's so cheap. I don't have it in me to try to do voice acting this afternoon. So the joke of this game is that the final battle here is sprites versus memory. There's only so much room for either in this game. I'm gonna do no more commentary, I really need to focus. Just listen to the best song in the game and wonder how ADK looked at this AI and thought this is an acceptable product to release. I missed the bomb, that's no good. Flip the screen with extra access. I only hope. Watch her dodge every single one. Oh, she had a bomb, I forgot. I didn't have a bomb. I know she gets to have three bombs. Well, I'll get the extend soon, so nothing too much to worry about. Stop talking, you have to focus. How does she have more than three life? What happened? Just death. If the match goes for more than 100 seconds or so, death will appear and keep coming back every time it's killed with more life. It goes without saying, uh, instant contact itself is a knockout. My opinion, if you last long enough to see death, you are good at this game. I don't care who you are. I was about to make the pun about AD cake, but that's already been done in the chat. I'm really fever. What kind of carnage will ensue now? I was hoping to send some cover fire, but that didn't work out. Okay, get out of here. Right, how come you get a fever and I don't? I missed the orb, that's no good. Just survive, oh, never mind. I don't think I had any hope of winning that one.
You can have it for two. I'd love to give that thing cover fire, but it, oh, it's not gonna happen now. This is CB uses his best attack where it launches electricity throughout the screen. Oh, it didn't kill it. It escaped its life, and it wasted a bomb. Get out of here. Just use my own boss attack just to get that boss because I don't like it. Even though this boss might not survive. Yeah, it didn't. Really bad coin RNG. I was too distracted. I should have bombed. Mm. I had to bomb there. Anyone else see that? I didn't. I think... I don't think Japanese competition bans any characters. I have seen Mevius in a couple of sets. But the boss characters are not allowed in English, uh, English tournaments. Can I survive to the next extend? That would be swell. So fast now. A lot of the strategies for breaking chains just don't work when enemies move this quickly. Oh. Do something. I was trying to get the orb. sitting on three bombs and we have to just hope it makes an error. It made an error. It needs to make another one now. It gets a fever and I don't. No fair. Do I have time for one more attempt? You are currently at 22 minutes and 47 seconds. Okay, it's one more then. Three CC. Let's go. Memory is so, so powerful compared to everyone else that it's been shown that you can get a one CC with her by using no bombs and no charge shots. Just her regular shot is good enough. There's a 1cc of that on YouTube. Barely dodged that. The more bubbles there are in the pattern, the less I want anything to do with it. Sometimes I just don't deal with it. And I Suffer the consequences because it's better than having to get yourself in the position. Oh, I got hit by something. He got his fever later than mine. And I got hit by that. I didn't trust my ability to dodge that. I didn't want to go through that pattern of normals, but I had to because I don't want to waste another bomb. When you bomb, you want to match the bomb input. Shouldn't have done that. Yep, pay for it right now. Let that go. Don't sit any reversals.
I don't want to miss that fever, so I'm wasting a bomb to get it. Not that it did anything. I was trying not to shoot those fireballs. Block my attacks. It's too fast. For real. Awful pattern to get fever on. I didn't see that spawn. Last chance. Hold up for another fever. Can I do that? No. So I don't suppose we have enough time, do we? How much time do I have? You are currently sitting at 27 minutes and 30 seconds. Hmm. Should I go for one more? I'll go overestimate if I do. I. I think that shouldn't be a problem. Back of house? <laughs> Let me check. Yes, you do. Last chance for real this time. I have to do this for the children. If I don't do this, I'm just going to come back next year and every year forward until I do. I don't mind. That's no good. I have to bomb immediately. Okay, just don't bother with this pattern. Wasted that fever. Good use of a bomb. When we have no bombs. I might have a chance. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm so cautious now, I'm so paranoid to do anything, lest I'll be punished for it with an extra. That's no fair. Talk about a hungry burger. 
Sheesh. I don't trust that. I feel like I just shouldn't have escaped that. Well, I tried. I really did. I don't have any me to continue. I apologize, everybody. But the final boss really is just that hard. It's okay, you did fine. It's not a problem. And by the way, this line is not a mistranslation. It actually does say this in the Japanese. Anyway, uh, I won't be able to show you the ending this year. Anyway, thank you for thank you for your support. Thank you for. I need to practice this. Thank you for your support. Thank you for coming out to Magfest. Thank you for benefiting Child's Play. This has been the opponent. So uh, I don't have anything else to contribute. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday, everyone. All right. Well, thank you so much, the opponent, for both of those runs. And thank you all for being here, joining us either from home or right here at MAGFest. Uh, once again, we are MAGFest. We're raising money for charity. We will take a quick intermission, and we'll be, we'll be right back. I just wanted to update you guys on the... Uh, where we stand currently, we are at $8,462.00 out of our $10,000 goal. Uh, I believe in us. I know we can do it. But uh, yes, we're going to take a quick intermission, and we'll uh, catch you on the flip. So don't go anywhere.